In this lesson, you'll use HTML paragraph and break tags to break up text on your page. To begin, open the HTML test sample file from your sample files folder. And open default.aspx in source view. Now you're going to add some paragraph tags to the HTML code. One of the most basic tags in HTML is the paragraph or p tag. Paragraph tags do just what they say. They break up text into paragraphs. Add a new line after the this is paragraph 1 line. And type this is paragraph 2. Now switch to design view. Both of the pieces of text have been placed on the same line, even though they're on different lines in your HTML code. This happens because web browsers ignore white space. Switch back to source view now, and add p tags to contain both this is paragraph 1 and this is paragraph 2. So I'll need a starting p tag before i, and an ending p tag after end i, and then starting and ending p tags around this is paragraph 2. Now switch back to design view, and you can see that the text has been separated into paragraphs. Although paragraph tags are useful for breaking text into paragraphs, sometimes you will want to put line breaks inside paragraphs without starting a new paragraph. For this, you'll need to use the break or br tag. Switch back to source view, add a new line after the two paragraphs, and type p Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Now switch back to design view. Although you've placed the text in a paragraph of its own, everything is still on one line inside that paragraph. You might be thinking that you could fix this by putting every line inside a pair of p tags, but doing that would cause gaps to appear between the lines by default. By default, HTML paragraphs have extra white space between them. This might seem strange, but it's actually the same way that most word processors handle their paragraphs. Later, in Lesson 2.9, you'll discover how to use CSS to define styles. CSS styles allow you to customize exactly how much white space appears between paragraphs. An easier answer in this case, though, is to simply use the break tag. The break tag just inserts a single line break wherever it is placed. Switch back to source view, click just after lamb, and type a br tag. That's less than br space forward slash greater than. Some HTML tags are self-closing tags. Instead of having a separate closing tag, they have a forward slash at the end of their tag. The br tag is a perfect example of this. Now add two more br tags 
at the end of the next two lines. Finally, start debugging. You can now see that your text is broken up correctly when displayed in a web browser. Close your web browser now, and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 2.2 Understand HTML Paragraph and Break Tags.